Hello, hello, happy Sunday, everyone. If you're tuning in for the very first time, my name is Kim Dent, and I'm an independent Stampin' Up! demonstrator. I live in Maryland Heights, Missouri, and I've been a demonstrator for almost 22 years. I love teaching stampers and crafters how to make cute, quick, and easy, and adorable greeting cards. So if you're hopping in tonight to watch me live, please say hello so I know that you're with me. If you found me on my YouTube channel, Stamping with Kim Dent, please subscribe and hit the notification bell. It would help me out even more if you liked the video and also if you left me a comment. So thanks so much. I hope you're having a wonderful weekend. Hello everyone. Hi Sandy. I have so much to share with you. Oh my goodness. And I don't even think I'm going to get it all in this uh, tonight with the video. It's just been a busy, busy stamping up week. <laughs> Hi, Gail. Hi, Jill. So on, uh, let's see, it was Wednesday. The retirement list came out as a demonstrator. Um, I got to preview the brand new 2023-2024 um, annual catalog. I got to see those brand new colors and also I got to see um, what colors are going away. With uh, I'm going to share with you in just a minute. Hello Debbie. Hi Murph. Thanks for popping in tonight. Well, I hope you got some stamping done this weekend. I have two, uh, along with all of the Stampin' Up! news, I have two really quick, easy cards that I'm going to share with you, um, both featuring products um, that, that will be going away. So pay close attention. Hi, Mom. Hi, Sandy. Hi, Kathy. <clears throat> all right. I'm going to sync my laptop. Thanks for saying hello, everybody. Facebook was not playing nice just about 10 minutes ago. And I thought, I almost thought I was going to have to send you all a message or something saying, I don't think we're going to, I don't think it's going to happen. But thankfully, said a little prayer and it started working. So, yay, yay. <laughs> Here I am. Hello, Mary. All right. The first thing I'm going to do uh, after I flip my camera down, I'm going to share with you the colors that are going away. Were any of you sad about the colors that are going away? I know there's a couple that I, I'm i kind of sad about, but if you could see, or I hope you've seen, if you, were, if you are on my newsletter list, I sent out a newsletter on Thursday that included um, the retire, the, they call it the last chance product list. Um, and also the colors. So um, if you're not on my newsletter list, make a comment and I'll make sure to add you to uh, my newsletter. And I send out, I had only um, just recently started sending them out about once a week. Um, so if you're interested in seeing what's new, and, and it's just a short little email. So um, nothing heavy. Just send me a comment or send me an email or text and say, add me to your list. So hold on. I'm going to flip the camera down. All right. If you're placing an order this week, there's my website. Um, you can find out more about me. You can find out when I, uh, when I have classes. Um, what's going on with Stampin' Up. If you're placing an order and it's uh, $149.99 or less, please use this code, that helps me out. If your order is $150 or more, do not use this code because you'll get Stampin' Rewards or I like to call them free bait, freebies. <laughs> Hello, Valerie. Happy, I hope you're still celebrating your birthday, Valerie. It's been a good weekend, except it was crazy yesterday, wasn't it? The crazy, crazy weather here in St. Louis. Crazy winds on Friday night, and I'm thankful that the weather, the scary storms they predicted for us um, did not take place, but some crazy winds happened, <clears throat> and it carried on to Saturday. All right, here are the colors that I'm going to share with you that are going away. This is Mango Melody. This is a color that I have not used um, a whole lot. Yay, Shirley, I'm glad you found me. Um, but it's a, br it's a bright, cheerful color, but it is going away. 
and then pear pizzazz this one i kind of had a hunch that this one might go away this is a light green uh, but don't worry it's gonna it's it's gonna be replaced with a vibrant one that you'll you're gonna love this is sahara sand i do use this one a lot it's a good it's kind of a good like it said, the name is Sahara Sand. It's kind of a sandy color. I use this color a lot on masculine cards. This one, I kind of was surprised by this is Pacific Point. And it's a nice bright one, but we've had it for a while, so it's going away. This is the one I was not surprised about. This is Blushing Bride, but I'm going to use it on my one of my cards tonight. It's a soft pink, but it, out there we had um, we have lots of um, cut stampers who say they wanted more of a true pink, like a baby girl pink, and we are getting that. So I'm excited about that one. So goodbye, blushing brides. This is the one I'm sad about. <laughs> Bermuda Bay. And if my Cheryl, my friend Cheryl Spencer is watching, I bet she's sad about this too. I, th I really love Bermuda Bay. <laughs> and even though I don't, um, I'm not like, I don't wear this color very often. I love this. I love this color. Is anybody else going to be sad Bermuda Bay is going away? And then I use this one a lot too. Mary Merlot. So this is also going to be used on the card um, that we're, one of the card that I'm using with Blushing Bride. And then Soft Suede. Another good color. I told you girls I wished for a good brown. I didn't get chocolate chip from 25 years ago, but we did get um, some good substitutes. So soft suede is going away. Rich Razzleberry. I don't, I don't know why. I love this. This is a good color. I just didn't use it very much in my card making. <clears throat> this is so saffron. A nice soft yellow. But we're getting another yellow, so... Hold tight. Then Mint Melody. This one I didn't really use till recently, but I found it coordinated. There was some DSP. I used it this year probably more than ever. Mint Melody is going away. And then these are the 2021 in colors that are going away, which do you notice anything unusual? There's five of them. Fresh Freesia, dum da 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 is remaining. It's going to be put into the new color collection. So the this these four colors from this year's in colors 2021 to 2023 soft succulent. I really wanted this one. <laughs> Pale papaya, evening evergreen and polished pink. Even though I'm a pink girl, um I really wanted soft succulent to stay. So those are the colors, 15 of them that are going away, but you're gonna fall in love just like I did with the um, with the new ones. So it's gonna be a fun year, and the catalog is absolutely fabulous. I want all of you to know if you're if you've been a customer of mine, or um, well, I should say first, if you're a customer of mine. Um, and you've placed orders with me, your catalogs will arrive in the mail. That's just something that I enjoy doing. Um, so hopefully um, by the second week in April, yours will start to arrive. Um, uh, so fingers crossed because <laughs> sometimes it gets kind of kooky. But um, And if you're finding me from either YouTube or from my Facebook group and you would like to receive a catalog, please contact me because I'm happy when I receive mine uh, cases of them, then I will pop one in the mail to you. Or you can always meet me at my house or um, up at Zion where I work. And I'm happy to, I love giving away catalogs. So um, that's what's new with that. Okay. The one thing that I want to make you all aware of is if you didn't get my newsletter, the, the last chance list the retirement list that is going away. It is filled with crazy, crazy good discounts. And if you love a sale, like look at this, um, the dies, there are some dies that are 60% off. Um, the embossing folders, like look at the pen flap. This is from hand pen. It originally is $30. It's $12. I mean, there's 
it's just crazy. Here's one that's $37 originally. It's $14.80. Um, there's just some crazy, crazy good bargains. Look at this, girls. I love this. Shirley, are you watching this? Shirley and I both love this embossing folder. This seashell 3D embossing folder, we've had it in our line for a while. It's $9, or it was $9, but starting on Tuesday, $3.60. And then this one, this is another one I'm kind of sad about, but I know they're going to give us another good embossing folder to replace it. This is... Um, this is 20% off, so it's $6. This one, the Hive one, I've used that one a lot. Another one that's $3.60. The Gingham one, $3. So if you love a bargain, I mean, this it's same with um, the DSP. There's some, D, look at the, look at me. <laughs> look at this, the embellishments, $3, $3.25. So hello, Barb. Hello, hello from Arkansas. I was just talking about the last chance list. There you can see um, the DSP, that's 30% off. You can get it for $8.40. So these are items that will be going away. There you can see some um, of our big background. Most of, look at how many of them are going away. A lot of them. Um, but I've marked up my calendar, uh, catalog, this one as well as the mini catalog. Um, you Some of them, now not all of the items that are going away are discounted. But here I'm going to use this one tonight. This one is the, a wa let's see, a Wash and Beauty DSP. It's 10% um, off, $10.80. So if you love a sale and you love a bargain, oh my goodness, look at this stamp set. Eden's Garden, 60% off. Maybe you wouldn't want it for full price for $23. Who can pass up $9.20 though, girls? Even if you don't like, let's say the images, but you like the words, for $9.20, you can't beat that. So um, there's another DSP. So if you have questions or you, you wanna receive that list, just uh, send me a line. But I was shocked when I did this last night. Rick was uh, working, and I went through my catalogs, and I marked them all up. And um, I just am amazed. <laughs> I'm amazed at how cheap things are. So, okay, on to the, um, on to the cards. Hello from Little Rock. Little Rock. Let's see. Did I say Mint Melody? That was really Oh my goodness. Debbie, you're right. You caught me. Oh, mint macaron. You're right. Not mint melody. Oh, girls. That was a flash from the past. A color. You're right. From about 20 years ago. So I should have said, thank you, Debbie. Mint macaron, not mint melody. <laughs> oh, oh, oh. All right. <clears throat> This is the first card I'm going to make for all of you. And this one, what I tried today, my goal was to feature um, items that are retiring as well as colors. So you can see this is a fun fold. This is a belly band. And then the card base is a little different. It's still the standard um, five and a half by eight and a half, but it's um, scored a little bit different. Very easy to do. The colors that are um, featured are Blushing Bride and Mary Merlot. And then the DSP, hold on, let me get my notes out. Um, the DSP is a wash and beauty. And then I flipped quickly through that, but it's all of this, the, the stamp set, the, the suite is found on page 67. Um, I'm gonna show you the stamp set. True Beauty, it's a very pretty stamp set, especially girls, if, you're if you love the flowers, like I do. <laughs> um, so this is True Beauty. It also has a coordinating die set that's fantastic. Let's see. Oh my goodness. Well, the die set, girls, it's one of those that's crazy, crazy cheap. I think it is 
60% off. Here we go. The Organic Beauty dies that coordinate with this stamp set. Organic Beauty, page 166, 60% um, off. They're $16.80 and they're fantastic. Fantastic. So that's uh, that's where this, it's the sweet uh, True Beauty. And then the DSP, I love. I'm gonna see it, be sad to see it go. Look at Mossy, I always, Mossy Meadow. I love Mossy Meadow. <clears throat> this is the piece we're using tonight. This is um, this is one of those fun fun ones that you can cut up the you know cut it up chop it up and make beautiful card fronts just from the DSP. And then there's blushing bride in a plaid. This one is so sweet, cute little print. And then some uh, balmy blue. And then this one. This is one of those where the dyes that organic beauty dyes that I was just talking about, cut out these pieces. So that's fun. There's also two more uh, sheets of this, but it's this has been one of my favorite, and I didn't even have a scrap left of the two, uh, the two sheets that aren't, um, that aren't here tonight. But take a look in the catalog. All right, so let me show the, the kit. So it is, I have a bajillion pieces. Here's your card base, Blushing Bride. It is five and a half by eight and a half. And you're gonna, we're gonna score it at three inches and seven and one fourth. And that's what makes this funny little fancy fold. All right, and then the, the um, belly band. This is Mary Merlot, a color that also is going away. This is three fourths inch by nine and a half and we're gonna score it at four. And then, let's see. There we go, oops. I've cut this down. I just wanted you to see, um, this is um, a piece of it, and I've cut the two panels, these two right here. This one is two and a half by five. And there, I put down, just as a reminder, it's on page 67 of the annual catalog. Beautiful DSP, $10.80. And then the layer that goes behind this panel is two and three-fourths by five and a fourth. And then for this skinny panel right here, this is just a skinny little piece of three-fourths inch by five. And then the piece that goes behind it, Mary Merlot, is one inch by five and one fourth. And then the last thing you need is, no, not the last thing. This is the inside, four inches by five and one fourth for your inside piece. Whoops, sorry, oh my goodness. And then these really are two scraps that I used for the double oval punch. This is two and three fourths by three and one fourth. And then this is the blushing bride piece that we're gonna actually stamp on. I don't stamp on, very often do I stamp on colored cardstock, but I thought it looked pretty. So there you go. If you wanna take a snapshot of all the pieces. Kinda looks crazy. All right, I'm gonna bring in my scoreboard. And first I'm gonna clear these off. So comment, you need that DSP. Oh, yay, Jill. Yeah, oh, thanks, girls. I'm glad you like it. It's, um, yeah, I really <laughs> racked my brain trying to uh, get a, um, you know, color combo that I could feature retiring colors. So, <clears throat> Here we go, Blushing Bride. Okay, we're gonna score it at, let's see, I'm gonna get it in the frame. Three inches. 
and seven and one fourth. And I'm gonna set this aside and I'm gonna bring in our belly band. Now this could be any width, um, but I just thought three fourths of an inch was a good width. And then nine and a half makes uh, a nice band, a nice size for the band um, to go around your standard size card. So this is three fourths inch by nine and a half and we're scoring it at four, just one score. And I would like to, I always want to give credit, especially if I um, am so inspired by lovely demonstrators who work very hard at creating cards. So I did not create this fancy fold. That is way out of my league. <laughs> but Sue Campfield, you can find her um, on YouTube. Sue Campfield, Susan Campfield, she is the one who kind of inspired this card for me. So I'm going to bring in uh, my foam folder oh I do too I love this DSP you're right and it can make a birthday card you're right Debbie birthday sympathy um, thinking of you just it's a great pack of DSP okay my Mary Merlot two and three fourths by five and one fourth goes on first so it's just a little different, just a little fun, fun little fold and not, not a whole lot of extra work. So here's our skinny piece, one by five and one fourth. So tell me, comment, what is your favorite, what is your color that you're sad it's going away? Comment below. <laughs> I definitely am going to miss Bermuda Bay. Oh, I know what I wanted to show you, too. I might show you when we're done here. Okay, let's see what we've got. Let's do the belly band. So here's our long piece, soft succulent, mint macaron. Oh, yeah, mint macaron, gosh, not mint melody. I, yeah, Pacific point you'll be sad about. Okay, scored it at four inches. What I, this is how I'm gonna do it. All I'm gonna do is take this and wrap it around. Well, really, I don't see how I do it, like this. I want, because you want that seam, you want this to be on the back side. And I'm just gonna take and on this very tip. Well, there we go. And I'm just gonna take that piece. Can you all see how easy this is? And bend it over. And you know what? That might have been longer than nine and a half girls. I think it was. Let me measure it. I don't think I trimmed it. It might, and I, and that's okay. Nope, it is nine and a half. It just, maybe my sample was not nine and a half. I don't remember having that big tail on there. This works. See how quick it's coming together? Okay, now I'm gonna bring in my double oval punch. This is not going away. And all I need to do is now you can either stamp stamp first if you would like. For this one, I it's a big enough space for me. I'm just gonna punch first. Now see that one? I'm gonna save it for the next card and maybe I'll reverse the colors or reverse the color of the belly band. For this, we're just gonna use this piece. That's what I'm gonna stamp on. And then for the scallopy part, <laughs> So when I do, when I, when I do, 
punches. I always use it this way. A lot of stampers are, if they're crafting and they're just getting started, they think, you know, they slip the cardstock in here, but then you can't, I don't know. It just, I think it makes more sense to do it like this. Then you can see exactly where you're going. All right, say farewell, Mary Merlot. <laughs> All right, girls, the stamp set I brought in, this is Dragonfly Garden, and Dragonfly Garden is on page 105 of the annual catalog, and it is retiring. So here I pulled in, um, originally my plan I was gonna use here for you always, which I could have, it would have fit. I had in mind just because, but those that stamp <clears throat> wouldn't fit and so then I thought oh this one will so dragonfly garden is also retiring it's got thank you um for your kindness make good things grow all year long if you love dragonflies or look at the wildflowers those are very pretty also there is a coordinating punch and I do believe that punch is staying in the line I'm not positive but I, I double checked the list and only the dragonfly garden stamp set is going away so here we go. We're gonna bring in for a true friend. Let's see if I can get this right. Yay. And then I'm gonna pull in my, where is it? Here it is. The white, four inches by five and one fourth. And I'm going to use, thank you for your kindness. We have sweet people who are um, always helping me out up at church at my job. And so this will be a sweet card for one of them. Now, if I had more time, <clears throat> I could easily stamp like one of these beautiful roses or um, you know, just some greenery on the inside. But for tonight, because I'm Gavin, we're just going to, we're gonna leave that blank. Okay, and me too, Debbie, I love the bundle. But thankfully, you know, if you love something, just like the cardstock girls, if you love, that's, I should have said that when we were going through. Um, if you love those colors that are going away, you know, you still use them, but you wanna also stock up on them. Buy yourself, if you love it, an extra pack of cardstock. Um, make sure you've got the re-anchor. Okay, there's my belly band. I'm gonna glue these two pieces together. Oh, sure, 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 sure. I'm even gonna, I think, demonstrate for you. Okay, <clears throat> how to cut it, Jill, so hold on tight. All right, for this, instead of trying to get, you know, the dimensionals, I don't, it's not too hard, but this is my tip for doing dimensionals when you do a belly band. You just put it on the belly band, not on the piece that you're gluing on. I'm gonna scooch this down. Now I used on my um, sample the um, In Color Opal Rounds, which are going away. I've used these, I think, the most out of all the embellishments. <laughs> I love them. You've seen if you come to my classes, we use these a ton. These are going away, and I'm not sure if they're on sale or not. I'll have to look. Um, <clears throat> but I thought it also. I had this idea because I just had a pack of brush brass butterflies sitting here and I thought oh that would look pretty so we're going to use on this one the brush brass butterflies say that quickly three times <laughs> I'm going to bring in my take your pick tool let's see I think I'm going to use the pointy end oh yeah well, that looks kind of sweet just with one. Hmm, do I need another one? Hmm, I think I'm happy. 
I'm happy with just the one breast, brush breast butterfly. So there you go, a sweet little fancy fold. I do like it, I think, better than the opal rounds. <clears throat> oh, your or yeah, I will. This is something I want to share. I forgot to see, I've got so much to tell you. I'm going to go back to the dimensions, Jill. I haven't forgotten, but I want to tell you something. So, the item that, uh, as demonstrators, we were most shocked about was um, the Stamparatus. We are no longer going to sell the Stamparatus. And that makes me sad. And I can tell you what I was told or what I read is that, um, you know, there are other stamping, what do we call those, stamp positioning tools. Um, and we heard that Stampin' Up! has been, um, I don't know, what's the word? It's they've been in a legal legal issues with the creator of the Misty. That was the first stamp positioning tool that came out, and um, so I guess I this is what I've been telling my customers. I guess they just decided to throw in the towel. Doesn't you know? For me, it's I'm sad because I have a ton of customers with arthritis, with um, tremors. They were able to conf confidently stamp again because of the Stamparatus. And so I'm sad that we're not selling that anymore. I also know, um, and I know Kathy's watching tonight, she tried to place an order, I believe today, and that it's already sold out. So sad, sad, sad. <laughs> um, but we're gonna try to find Kathy one. If any of you have one that you don't love or it's, it's a brand new Kathy, um, contact me and I'll put you in touch with Kathy. I'm trying, uh, I'm trying to get her a new one because she really wanted one. So I'm sad that she didn't get one um, before they sold out. So put put the word out. If you know, if you have a friend that doesn't love their Stamparatus, um, please let me know and I'll put you in touch with Kathy. So, okay, back to the um, measurements. Let's see. Okay, I'm bringing in my um, trimmer and hold on, I've got, I'm looking, okay. So what I wanted to share with you, you know, it's a 12 by 12 sheet. What I would recommend you doing is putting it in, get this out of the way, at the five inch mark. So here's, I'm looking up here, it's five inches. And then the first piece, Jill, is two and a half. Let's see. No, first, let's see. How did I do it? Yeah. No, I did it one inch first. So I did that skinny, this piece first. See, that skinny one? And I'll show you why. So I did it one inches. See there? And then the next one is two and a half. Now, the reason I did that is, there, I didn't do it on this one. And do you see how the pattern doesn't match up? But I did do it on this one and I like the way it flows better. So pay attention if you're cutting like a big chunk like that, cut five inches and then cut your skinny, oh, sorry, that was three-fourths. That should have been three-fourths of an inch. Sorry, Jill. Three-fourths inch by five and this is two and a half by five. Oh, Karen, you're right. That, I bet she did have one, Karen. Maybe we can get, we'll have to talk. Thank you for thinking of that. Okay, so did you all get the measurements? And the only reason I did it that way is just I prefer if the patterns, if the pieces are going to be close to one another, I like it when they match, even though they're separated by a layer. So that's my tip. All right. Next card. I'll put this one away. This one is also featuring a... Um, 
retiring stamp set and bundle. And this is from Wisteria Wishes. Oh, I love it. I love the purples. Can you tell? I love the purples. <laughs> so here is the stamp set. And I just got this one. This is one that I just cracked open today, but I love it. So, and uh, Wisteria Wishes, Wisteria is a tree, not a flower, not a, it's a flowering tree, but it is not, you know, learn something new today when I Googled colors for uh, Wisteria. And they do come in all different colors, which is fun. <clears throat> all right. It also has a coordinating set of dies. I'll show you those because I used them. So <laughs> there's my leaf die. Like that. I love it because um, it it not only cuts out, it also embosses. And then, ugh, sorry girls. This is my wister the three wisterias. A lot of people here, I'll give you a tip. This tape, I, I love this tape. And this is from scrapbooking.com. And it's called the Mint, I think it's called the Mint Green Tape. It's very inexpensive, but it's what I use to hold my dies in place. It comes in a little roll like that. If you come to my stamp classes, you can, uh, we use it all the time. So, um, and then you can see, there. these are like stems. I guess if you wanted to make it more like a cone flower, there's another die for the leaves. I think this is a tree branch and a leaf. And then, do you see these funky ones like this? I wanna show you what they make. They cut out pieces like this. So I'll show you in a second why these were important tonight. All right, your card base is five and a half by eight and a half. Um, and it's scored at four and one fourth. Wisteria Wishes is on page 92 of the uh, annual catalog and the bundle is 47.50. The next piece, oh, this is where <laughs> I, <laughs> Okay, so this is sparkly paper, and I thought, oh, that will look beautiful with wisteria. And this ombre paper, I thought was in the catalog, and it is not. But I'll tell you what is in just a second. So those dies, I just did not want to use this as a layer. I decided to use those dies that I just showed you and cut out the center so that just the border is showing. So I, I was able to get four dies out, uh, you know, four pieces out. And I'm gonna show you. Here's the card I made with it. Aw, isn't that pretty? So that paper we must have had in the last catalog. I apologize, but um, isn't it beautiful? Mm, Sweet and simple. I almost was going to stamp something right here and then I didn't and I'm very happy with the way it looks. So don't forget, especially when you're using like specialty paper, if you're using it as a layer, always cut something out of the middle. Even if it's, if it's your labels, you know, that you can, you can sit aside and use it on a later card. So this piece, retired um, ombre specialty paper that's called, and then I used two pieces of three and three fourths by five, one for the outside and one for the inside. Um, the Pear Pizzazz cardstock, it is on sale now. It's on page 123, last chance. It's on sale for $7.40 for a pack. So this, oh, where's my measurements? <laughs> oh, two and a half by five and a half. For the measurements on the pear pizzazz. Those are for the leaves and the branches. And then for the white, basic white, two and a half by five. And that's what we're going to stamp the wisteria on. Okay, here's where um, 
I goofed up. So I did find, this is what I thought I was using. On page 139, there is, it's called In Color Glimmer Paper. It's six by six. 20, it's the 2022-2024 colors, which includes um, Starry Sky and what's the other one? It's the new in colors, but so they're glimmery, shimmery like this one. And there it's on sale. It's 60% off and it's $4.80. So that's what I thought I was using when I grabbed this. And aren't I silly? It wasn't, but that's a good substitute. Okay, take a pic of the, um, the card kit. This one is real quick. Thank you, Debbie. All right, I'm gonna take my bone folder. And then for this piece, let's see, I'm gonna, <laughs> I'm gonna see what it, what happened. I'm gonna try my stamp and seal. Yeah, this is gonna hold it. Well, on my sample, I used uh, the Tombow glue but I think this is gonna be just fine. Just kinda of have to get it in there all over. Isn't that pretty? Get that down. And then this is my three and three fourths by five piece and I need to stamp on it first. <clears throat> so I'm gonna bring in Gorgeous Grape. I do love the words on this one. This is, um, there's the, see, I guess you, you can make a different kind of a flower with this one. I am not like a, I'm not sure what kind, but like a snapdragon maybe. Um, but the words hang in there. Um, faith is about trusting. Happiness grows within to a friend who's all kind of wonderful. Oh, hang in there. This could be like on the outside. And then even when you don't understand. So a nice um, support card letting someone you know that you're thinking and praying for them. So I love to a friend who's all kinds of wonderful. And I'm gonna bring in my pierce mat because it's a photopolymer stamp set. Oop, and that's not the word. <laughs> oh, oh, Karen. Well, thank you. All right, uh, Kathy. I think we've got you a Stamparatus. You're awesome, Karen. Uh, I owe you a big hug. All right, we'll make a connection, Karen and Kathy. All right, friend to a friend who's all kind of wonderful. Oh, and I can leave that out. I'm gonna set this, well, I guess I can glue this down. Isn't that pretty? That shimmery little glimmery layer. Love it. Set that to the side. And then I'm gonna bring in my two and a half by five and a half piece, or sorry, five. It's really, you know, I gave it that measurement, but a scrap will do. And the Wisteria, we're gonna, it's a two-step stamp set. Oh, thanks, Valerie. Oh, sorry, the base is Highland Heather. Thank you, girls, I did not say that. Highland Heather for this, the base. <laughs> it does match my nails. <laughs> okay, we're gonna stamp this one, the lighter, uh, the, the, well, let's see which way. Usually I stamp the opposite. I stamp the detail first, and then the, the wider part of the stamp in a two-step stamp. This one, I got to go back to the way I used to do it. So we're going to do the filler last, the detail last. So two sets of these. And then I can close this up. That's Highland Heather. And then the detail one. It's going to be in Gorgeous Grape. Isn't that pretty? 
And we're going to put some Wink Estella on top of it, too. <clears throat> All right. <clears throat> Through the magic of television. So, pear pizzazz, um, two and a half by five and a half. I use the dies. And <clears throat> here we go. Dun da da dum. There's that. There's the, see, I love the, look at girls. Look at the, that die, how it puts, I love that. All right, so we've got our pieces. I did two sets of those as well. And then I'm gonna bring in, this is my silicone craft mat. That's messy. <laughs> and, uh oh, I don't see my, my, I don't see my little sponger. Well, girls, normally I would put my glue on here. No, it's not. Hmm. It's stuck to something, I'm sure. All right, we're still gonna, we're gonna do it like this. I'm just gonna be very, very careful. Normally I would put a dollop right there and then dip my sponge into it and then dab all over it. But because it's, I'm sure it's stuck to something. I'm just putting teeny tiny little dots on there, teeny tiny. Yay. Thank you though, Debbie, for checking. All right, we're gonna put one right here and I'm going to bring in one of my sets of wisteria and put dimensionals on it. and paint dry. All right. Oh. Okay. This one, it's got like the stem right here coming down. So I'm going to connect that middle one like that. And then this, on this one, um, I liked it that I had the, the leaves kind of touching the top of that one. And I'm going to do the same for this one. So this silicone mat, the purpose of it really is like just to protect your work surface. But um, I, when you're using like adhesives, whether it's stamp and seal or, you know, the Tombow glue, that's, and all I have to do, you can see how it's a, the dry glue on there. All I have to do is wash it off in warm um, soapy water, like with, um, you know, a little bit of detergent. All right, this one I'm gonna tuck right under here. So it's kind of looks like it continues on. And then I'm gonna bring in my second set. Now, did you notice something? <laughs> I decided, well, per, I, I, it wasn't really that I decided. See what happened? It didn't work out. <laughs> so then I just decided I was gonna snip off that one. <laughs> so I'll save this for another for another card. Um, so we're just doing five and then it worked out. It, did, it didn't uh, interfere with my words. Oops. <laughs> Got the back but no dimensional. All right. And I like the that I was able to pull the leaves over this one as well. Oh, <laughs> so pretty. Now a little bit of Wink of Stella. Just be careful, you know, you wanna, you don't wanna, well, sometimes it might look pretty if you smear the ink, but um, just be careful, you know, that it is gonna bleed that ink just 
little bit, especially this wink of Stella is pretty dry. I'm squeezing pretty hard to get it out. <clears throat> I did hear, I was at a meeting last week. I did hear that there is a way to pop this out and put 70% alcohol, like rubbing alcohol in here. And there's enough of the glitter in there that it'll make it come alive again. I'm going to do that with this one. I'll let you know how it goes. All right. Card number two. And all I need now is um, the opal rounds. And <laughs> take your pick. These these are the fresh Frasia ones, but um, I thought they looked really pretty with the Highland Heather and the gorgeous grape. Let's use a big one. Oh, and then don't forget, you want to stamp on the inside of your card. Make it as beautiful as the outside and don't forget your envelopes. Thank you. Which one? Oh, I was really proud. This one I came together so quick, girls. I was really proud of myself. So there's that one. And then here's the other one. It was a good day of stamping. Oh, hello, Denise. You'll have to watch the replay. Give it a few minutes and it'll load. Those are the two cards. I hope you like them. And I think that's all I've got for now. Um, I Let me flip it around so I can talk to you. I just want to say thank you to everybody. I am, I'll tell you all this. So this in uh, May 17th, Rick and I oop, leave for um, Norway. Thanks to all of you and my fantastic group, uh, my fantastic team, group of gals um, could not be going around the world another time on another fantastic adventure. Um, Rick and I just can't believe that Stampin' Up! Um, has taken us around the world. So we're headed to Norway. We're headed to London. For the first time, we're going to spend um, two additional days um, before we set sail out of Southampton. Um, but I also want to share with all of you that I am so close to earning the trip, the next trip. Um, so I, I think probably this week I'll hit um, the, the amount of points that I need. So in 2024, Rick and I will be heading um, to a five-star resort in Mexico. Thanks to all of you. So um, it's it's been such a good week and um, I just want to let you know how grateful I am to each and every one of you. Whether you're a brand new customer or you've been with me, like some of you gals have been with me just about 22 years. So I just owe you each a big hug. <laughs> So, um, if you're uh, planning on placing an order, take a look at that last chance product list um, and and don't delay. If there's something, even if there's one little thing, I'm going to be placing orders probably every other day this coming, this coming week. Um, so, don't hesitate. If it's a pack of opal rounds, I'm happy to put that in uh, for you. You can pay me, you know, at the class. So, or you can pay by credit card, however you want to pay. But um, yeah, don't delay. Take a look such, because there is such fantastic bargains um, on that last chance product list. I don't want you to miss out. So thank you, everyone. I appreciate it. Have a wonderful week. God's blessings. Bye-bye.